Hello everyone. This is Teacher Kathy. Welcome to Math 060, Calculus with Analytic Geometry 1. This is the first of the two four-unit calculus course series taken by students enrolled at the Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technology, Iligan City, Philippines. It covers core concepts of functions, limits, continuity and differentiability of functions in one variable, differentiation rules, application to graphing, rates, approximations, and extreme problems, definite and indefinite integration. The Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. Applications to Geometry, Area, Volume, and Arc Length. Applications to Science, Average Values, Work, and Probability. Techniques of Integration. Approximation of Definite Integrals, Improper Integrals and Los Pitals Rule. At the end of this course, the students should be able to evaluate the limit of a function using the limit theorems. Define continuity at a point and on an interval. Distinguish between continuous and discontinuous functions. Use the definition to get the derivative of a function. Apply the differentiation rules on various types of functions. Apply the derivative tests to find maxima minima of a function, graph functions and solve optimization problems. Compute antiderivatives of various functions and definite integrals. Solve problems involving areas of regions, volumes of solids of revolution, arc lengths of curve and differential equations. Evaluate integrals using the basic techniques of integration. Evaluate improper integrals. The first topic is on limits and continuity. The desired learning outcomes for this topic are as follows. At the end of this topic, the students should be able to 1. Illustrate the intuitive idea of the limit and define its formal definition. 2. Evaluate limits of functions using the important limit theorems. 3. Discuss one-sided limits, infinite limits, and limits at infinity and demonstrate how these concepts are being used to evaluate limits of functions. 4. Discuss the continuity of a function and identify an important property of continuous functions as stated in the intermediate value theorem. 5. Evaluate limits of functions using the squeeze theorem. And 6. Be able to evaluate limits involving sine and cosine functions. The second topic is on the derivative of a function. At the end of this topic, it is expected that students are able to discuss the derivative of a function at a number. Evaluate the derivative of algebraic and transcendental functions using important formulas for differentiation. Discuss the chain rule, implicit differentiation, and higher order derivatives and demonstrate how these concepts are being applied to evaluate derivatives of functions. Evaluate derivatives of functions using Le Pittel's rule. Examine the applications of derivatives to graphs of functions and to problems of finding the minimum or maximum points. Solve some problems in algebra using the mean value theorem. The third topic is on the other applications of differentiation. At the end of this topic, students are expected to be able to describe the linear approximation of a function at a point and calculate the relative error and percentage error in using a differential approximation. Identify the conditions under which a function is guaranteed to possess extreme values as stated in the extreme value theorem. The fourth topic is on integration and some applications. At the end of this topic, students should be able to Discuss the indefinite integral of a function. Evaluate integrals of functions using important formulas on antidifferentiation. Discuss the definite integral of a function. Solve some problems in algebra using the mean value theorem for integration. Describe the fundamental theorem of calculus. Examine the applications of integration to solve the area of a plane region, the length of arc of a plane curve, and volume of the solid of revolution. The fifth and last topic is on techniques of integration and other improper integrals. At the end of this topic, students are expected to be able to 1. Evaluate integrals of functions using the different techniques of integration. 2. Describe the extension of the definite integral to the case where the interval is infinite and the function has infinite discontinuity. For the teaching and learning activities. Students are expected to participate on the scheduled online discussions with the teacher. 
Students are expected to surf the internet to read resources relevant to the topics, and watch the recommended video clips. Students are expected to work on their problem sets and assignments and submit on or before the deadline. Students are also expected to take the quizzes and exams which will be posted later. Here are the references. The other learning materials and resources will be given, as each topic is discussed. The passing grade is 50%. In order to pass the course, a student must obtain at least 50% overall rating of the preliminary exam, midterm examination, final exam, quizzes, assignments and problem sets. 20% for the preliminary exam, 20% for the midterm exam, 20% for the final exam, and 40% for the quizzes, assignments, and problem sets. A total of 100%.